Hi, uh, I'm Manuela Veloso and I'm a faculty in uh, computer science and machine learning and robotics here at Carnegie Mellon University. And uh, I'm really sorry I cannot be in, pres in person present at the workshop today, but I really would like to participate and I'm looking forward to sharing a few thoughts with you in this conversation, in this brief conversation. So AI, overall AI systems tend to be able to uh, sense the environment, be able to understand from data, extract patterns of data, trying to represent things that uh, is embedded in the data and extract those patterns, and then reason about such, uh, such uh, detected patterns to make decisions, and eventually optimize or support human making decisions, and eventually actuate in the environment and hopefully make decisions for us and perform their actions. So these AI kind of like a full system with the ability to sense, to make decisions and to actually actuate is a very complex problem. So when we think about safety in these AI systems, lots of like uh, challenges come up and uh, the major challenges are all about how do we model these very complex uh, an uncertain environment, uh, let alone a learning system that is increasing its knowledge and its decision-making ability as it experiences uh, its uh, life and interactions. I'm going to focus on two aspects of AI and safety. One is in fact the need to bound what the AI systems can handle. And ideally these AI systems would be able to be shown to be uh, reliable within a much more limited space than the complete space, which is very hard to model. Outside of this space, the AI systems would, ask, would be able to ask for help. So for example, uh, an autonomous car, seeing that there is a lot of snow, would say, I, I'm not uh, reliably able to handle this situation. And turn the command to some other type of system, a human or something more fancy, more reliable. So this is the first aspect, which is this idea that AI safety uh, will require us to understand the boundaries of what the AI system can actually handle by itself autonomously and through experience being proven to be uh, the, that it handles the right way. So I don't know, it's hard to just uh, foresee everything but I do believe that this type of like a concept of these boundaries and within the boundaries we can apply any technique to demonstrate that it's safe in also a limited set of environments. We cannot model all possible environments let alone adversarial environments. We cannot, that's the definition of, of, of a complex environment is that it's it's very hard to model so we inevitably will have to have an AI system that is only the say proved safe within a maybe a very very small uh, boundary but there is another aspect that i think is very important with respect to uh, safety in ai which is what i've been calling having the systems be accountable so in some sense it would be uh, desirable that these ai systems are able to answer questions or be accountable for things that they make and such that such that whatever their algorithms are doing a human a user can query can question why did you do this uh, wow that was a great decision uh, what did you use to make such a great decision uh, complementary to this explanation and to this concept of uh, transparency and accountability comes along uh, the ability also for humans to instruct the robots, not only to have eventually these AI systems rely on massive amounts of data, but also to actually have these AI systems rely on specific instruction. In this particular situation, do like this, or in the general case, uh, uh, act like this. After a human is able to instruct a robot, and the robot explains itself and there is this relationship between uh, the robot, the AI system and the user in terms of explaining uh, how its programs are evolving and learning to handle situations, then the human can also correct and shape and bias and guide these particular AI system and jointly with this user 
eventually the combined AI system and the human uh, can uh, perform over time uh, much more reliable, much more reliably through this, uh, you know, well-grounded and open interaction. Uh, my thoughts are really uh, just about these three aspects, maybe the, the actual boundaries and the proactively asking for help. The concept that the robots need to be able to really uh, respond and be accountable and, inf and then the ability to instruct and correct the robot. These AI systems, in addition to having to be able to handle all these complications of sensing and decision making and actuation, the important thing is that in their, um, the, uh, in their life, when they become, in, when they interact with users long term, they become uh, systems that can learn. So they are dynamic. They are not just what they were yesterday. They are what they were yesterday plus more knowledge they acquired. So they are always dynamic kind of like uh, systems. So unless they have these dynamics, this ability to improve, this ability to learn more knowledge, this ability to revise their decision-making process, this ability to uh, improve the ways they act, they are really not AI systems because AI systems are not about just a refrigerator that is always able to freeze. And so over time, the more you, this AI system performs reliably and is a benefit and helps and perform as expected, your trust really increases because after all, it was already, it experienced already such a variety of environments, such a variety of decisions, such a variety of challenges, and it performed as expected and it's doing well, your trust goes up and up and up, and eventually you start building, uh, you start relying much more on these AI systems. So what's happening now, and the reason why AI is so important is because we have so many information, so many decisions, so much information recorded in digital form. And now we can apply that type of like information to e equip an AI system with knowledge and algorithms and optimization and all sorts of techniques to try to actually uh, help and humans in their decision making. So I think it's a combination both of enormous amounts of data that is being recorded with very, very novel algorithms to handle that data and eventually also that humans increasingly rely on these digital companions, these digital partners to help them make decisions. Uh, I wish everyone a great workshop and uh, uh, I'll hope to keep in touch and Good luck, this is an amazing um, opportunity to discuss this very important topic of safety in AI, which we are all engaged in trying to address. Thank you very much.